Okay, so um, we're going to go back to the top of the agenda, and and if someone can uh, make a motion for the approval of the uh, agenda and the minutes, you can do them together, or you can take them separate, your prerogative. Chairman Gilmore, I've been listening. I was on my phone um, listening to the meeting. Uh, I would like to uh, make a motion to accept both the agenda for today and also to uh, approve the minutes and to accept the minutes uh, for um, August. All right. Is there a second? I second that. All right, thank you, Princess. Smooth and properly second. All in favor, I know you by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, abstentions. Motion carries and we'll move right on, which will take us down to um, the actual um, other agency and program reports. And we have, if the city of Richmond is available here for the service department. Anybody here from there? And I will move on to uh, Shields Reed. And I see Marina's phone. So I don't know if she has a report. I don't. Marina, are you there? OK. All right, we're going to move on to the. I'm here. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was uh, trying to unmute myself. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> um, just, to, just to announce that we will be going back in person and having our meetings um, this month on the 27th at the Shields Reed Community Center. And we have an upcoming community resource fair for children and youth scheduled for October the 26th from 3.30, excuse me, from 3 to 5 at Shields Reed Community Center. That's all I have. Thank you, Marina. And uh, we'll move on to Tanya. Good evening, everyone. I do have two updates, um, actually invitations. One of them is Dr. Henry Clark's um, memorial and life celebration. It's gonna be happening on September 17th at 11 a.m at Lucky Ace Park. Um, and everyone's invited to attend. Um, please spread the word. You know, Dr. Henry Clark served on the North Richmond Mac along with other committees. And, you know, he's just a beloved community member and, and we appreciate all his work that he did here in North Richmond. Um, so if you know anyone, we're definitely trying to spread the word. Um, so if you know Anyone who you think might be interested, you know, we're just asking people to please share the memorial. I'll, I'll add it to the, the chat um, so that you can share that link with people who are who might be interested in attending. Um, Annie King is also supporting, she's supporting that event. She's helping lead that. So if you have questions, you can always contact her or me and we can um, connect you or give you the resources or information you need. Um, and then the, the other meeting that's happening is the Castro stakeholder meeting. I know this is something that, you know, we it, there's been concerns expressed at the North Richmond Mac, um, and we are having our first thing, not our first stakeholder meeting, but we haven't met in a while, and we're having a meeting on September 13th via Zoom at 5.30 p.m., and I'll also add that information to the chat in case people want to attend that meeting and hear what's what's going on and what the status is. As all of you know, we the city of Richmond did receive a grant for that um, site, and they are they hired a case manager, which is great news. Um, and they're starting to roll out the program. So there's a lot of uh, exciting updates on, on Castro and, and of course there's still a lot of activity happening. So I definitely encourage people to attend the meeting um, and I will add information to the chat. Those are my reports. Any questions for Tanya? Go ahead, um, Ms. Thompson. Uh, I just want to ask, are you going to send out uh, Zoom um, for people to be able to get on for the 13th? 
Castro. Yes, I'll add it to the chat. I'll add the Zoom link in the time. Okay, thank you. Of course. Any other questions for Tanya? Okay, we'll move to CHTC. Just a few updates. Um, we are getting closer to um, raising the funds for the construction of the grocery store on the corner um, of Chesley and Fred Jackson Way. We're about um, two, two thirds there. We thought we was, were closer, but ran into some issues um, with uh, the availability of the funding sources that we were after. So, um, but we're getting close. So um, hopefully we will get that um, all settled um, by the first of the year. So we can um, at least start construction of the, of the space and go after our vendor um, for the site as well. So stay tuned to that. Um, our resource center is up and running and um, I don't know if Daryl from our community building engagement is here, but he could probably give you more of an update on where we are there, but it is functioning. We were able to place some folks into some jobs and some skills training, and we're working on, on other types of resources there uh, and outreach to the community. So it's a work in progress. The MAC is going to have a subcommittee that's going to work close with, with the resource center. So uh, we look to hold those folks who have um, actually said that they were gonna pledge jobs um, to the community. So we gotta see where they are and see their progress. And then actually, um, if they don't have a plan to do it, then ask them to submit us a, a plan. And then we can assist where we can with the at the resource center. So those are the big things that are going on right now. CSGC still continues to have down payment assistance for folks interested in buying homes. So if you got a gap in funding where you don't have enough down payment and, and you don't qualify for as much, maybe we can bridge that gap to get you into a, a home. So those, those funds and those, those um, programs are still available um, at CHTC. And just to plug folks, if you, if you have, um, you know, an opportunity to buy a electric or a hybrid car, we still have um, down payment assistance for that as well. Um, I think it runs from $2,500 to $5,000, depending on the type of vehicle. And they also give you some other uh, benefits to go with it. So um, that is happening at our office. We actually have gone statewide with that program. Um, that's all I have right now. If there's any questions, I can answer them. Otherwise, we can, sure. I just wanted to find out, uh, Mr. Gilmore, what what are the requirements to get the monies for the hydrogen car, the electric cars? What's the requirements? You have to live in North Richmond, or no? You could. It's 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 income based, so um, it's folks that, lack of a better word, I'm gonna say making eighty percent and low of the medium area medium income but it's um, a certain percentage of poverty is, is how they couch it, but it's equivalent to that. Um, but feel free to, you know, contact our office and we can give you, you know, more. You can go online too, and it's called Drive Clean. Uh, you just go to CACC Drive Clean and it'll come up uh, there as well. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Latifa. Uh, hey, Mr. Gilmore, I wanted to ask you, are you planning to have, I know with the um, Las Delta sites, um, Tony had said that everyone would need to get their own funding. And so I was wondering if you were planning to do some type of customization, um, customized financing for people that are interested. And I was thinking that they're probably too far gone to do like a 203k or whatever the rehab loan is, but just wondering if you were planning to do anything around the Las Delta sites for financing. So we're we're working on that. Um, I see Hannah's here. She's works with with us as uh, as we're putting together. I don't know if Tony's here or not, but but we are looking at all those aspects of it and how we can make it you know more available to the community. Financing is one part of it. We understand the ins and out of that, and also 
the process that would it take to do the improvement and that whole process is could be daunting as well so um we're looking to take that into consideration the rfp is not out yet so we're waiting to respond to it but surely that type of uh, financing and assistance to local residents will be in our proposal any other questions if not i'm going to move on to um the mitigation um committee we who do we have from CHTC? I'm not even seeing who we have from CHTC. I'm here, Victor. Oh, All right, Victor, there you go. All right, so uh, hello, everybody. So what I want to report out is that we actually, we have already uh, delivered our September newsletters to all residents of North Richmond. Uh, the important information that's in that newsletter is that we're actually going to have our October Willie Spears cleanup uh, next month, October 8th. And it gives you all the details in that page. Um, another thing that I want to discuss uh, to everybody else is that uh, we're actually going to start our task force patrol walk on Thursday. Uh, we're going to be walking down uh, First Street and all our partners are going to uh, participate in that. And also, uh, I want to invite everybody to our North Richmond Green meeting that we'll be having tomorrow. And that's all for me today. Any questions for Victor? Ms. Latifa, go ahead. Hey, Victor. Um, I was wondering for the task force, are, are you open to taking suggestions um, for Street 2? Um, okay. I'm not sure how you choose the streets, but are you open to hear uh, suggestions from residents? Like, like if somebody asks if you would come and do their street, are you open to that? Yes, I am. Can you put my email? Yes. Tanya's going to be putting my email so like they could uh, send me emails if you want as well. Okay, thank you. Um, is there anything on Silver Street? I see Janine there. Do you have anything to report, Janine? Uh, yes, I do. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I wanted to announce that the Hacienda Heights newly renovated senior affordable housing has extended his, the pre applications from June, or we're out of June, uh, June 13th until September the 29th at 4 p.m. You can, uh, the address is 525 Marina Way um, in Richmond. They can apply online at www.contracostahousing.org. If you have people who don't have a computer, um, just as Mr. Gilmore mentioned, we have a resource center at 1500 Fred Jackson Way, and the hours are from 9 to 12 p.m. And you can meet with Kalu. You can also give them a call at 510-221-2591. Also at the Barrett Terrace Apartments and Plaza Townhouses on 700 Barrett Avenue, from 9 o'clock to 12 p.m., Marina Pulper, she's the resident service coordinator, and she can be reached at 510-237-3467. You can also uh, contact Heritage Point, which is 1500 Fred Jackson Way, 9 to 12 p.m. Ms. Anderson is our resident service coordinator there, and she can be reached at 510-221-2519 or at the Corwin Sane um, Community Family Center, 515 Silver, 9 o'clock to 9 a.m. And they can reach me, Janine Chutney, at 510-255-9203. And um, so it's still open. So please, if you know any seniors are looking for housing, please send us them our way so that we can assist with them. Um, just a couple of more announcements. We have our buddy game days that are starting five consecutive week, uh, weeks of fun. So tomorrow's our first game day and we're gonna be playing name that tune. So going back to old school, just to have some fun. And then on Friday, we'll be having movie day. So these are buddy um, uh, activities, social activities. So all the seniors are asked to bring a um, friend, a buddy to join us in our social activities. Our pantry numbers have 
elevated and increased a whole lot. So we are really, really doing good with the pantry. And that is all I have to report at this time. Thank you. Any questions for Janine? Thank you. Um, I see Officer Z is here and I wanna let him go ahead and make his report. How you guys doing? Um, so uh, my name is Officer Zaid. Uh, I know Officer Ab Abernathy um, used to attend these meetings a lot. Um, and then our recently our public information officer um, uh, got transferred over to Golden Gate. So I'm, I'm going to be taking over as public information in the meantime. Um, we uh, so we currently used to have two. Um, I'm not sure, by the way, I'm not sure how you guys usually, how they usually used to do these reports. So, uh, it's going to be my first time, but, um, yeah, I know we had, we had two cops officers that were working around that area. Uh, currently those positions are open, um, and they are trying to be filled. So as soon as we get a new officer to, uh, put in for that position, you guys are going to see us a lot more, um, working within the community. Um, as far as reports, uh, I like what's going on over there. Same same stuff that we usually get called to. Um, abandoned, stolen vehicles, um, just minor uh, parking complaints. We haven't really uh, had any incidents out in that area, which is good. So, I mean, things are, crime is kind of slowly uh, decreasing, I guess I would say, which is a good thing in that area. Um, that's about all I have. If you guys have any questions for me, or if you guys want to uh, kind of guide me, I, I would appreciate it. <laughs> well, we'll we, we can have, Tanya can give you kind of uh, uh, the reports that we get so you, you'll have an, uh, an idea, but it's basically the activity in the community. And apparently there must be some um, information of reports that you, he was getting from somewhere because that's mm -hmm. what they would report to us. Um, um, but you gave us a summation. The other thing I wanted to ask is, so in the meantime, where they don't have officers for North Richmond, they, they're just plugging as they can with people doing overtime or something, or how's that going? What, what we end up, way we end up doing is um, whoever is covering the, uh, the beat that covers uh, Richmond, the Richmond area, they usually will handle any calls or any, anything that goes on within um, the unincorporated uh, areas, they just respond to it. So that officer is still working, but they're also working the freeway. When we had like officer Abernathy, um, he was just there, just working that area. He was off the freeway and there was an officer that was dealing with the freeway stuff. So, but usually uh, we have around three officers or more uh, work in that area. So there's always somebody responding there. So it's still covered. Thank you. Questions? Or anyone else? Go ahead, Eleanor. You're on mute, Eleanor. Okay, I wanted to find out, are you saying that there's no uh, real officers uh, patrol in North Richmond other than wait for city of Richmond officers? What did you this, say? Now this is, this is the highway patrol now, right? Okay. This is not, this is not this the is county. Not, this is not North Richmond County. Okay, no. then. Sorry. Right. Wrong people. <laughs> Thank you. We are there. We are, we are there patrolling. I was there myself um, not too long ago. So I, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm heading the public information officer position as well as I'm a field training officer at the moment. So um, we were working that area the other day and I brought my trainee, me and myself. We were there, got her very familiarized with the area. So we were up and down there. I'm also planning on doing a, a few uh, pedestrian enforcement um, soon. So uh, you, we have we have these uh, events where we will focus strictly on like the city streets. And if somebody's crossing, you know, pedestrians are crossing, somebody's blowing past them, they're not stopping for the pedestrians. So we'll go out there and we'll focus on that. So that's something that I'm, uh, I'm still kind of working on the schedule on when we're going to come out and do that and which specific location. But yeah, we're, we're always out there. We're still out there. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? 
Okay, thank you so much for your report. We look forward to seeing you. Absolutely, thank you guys. Um, okay, Richmond Land. Any report from Richmond Land? I don't see anyone from Richmond Land, but I am going to add a, I'm gonna try to add the flyer. I'm gonna see if I can add it, but they do have an event coming up that they, um, I'm gonna see if I can add the flyer. I'm not sure, I'm looking at it right now. It's a PDF. Um, maybe I can share it really quickly. That might be the easiest thing to do right now. Uh, but they are having an event this month and they're inviting the community to come out. Um, and it's basically a follow-up to the, the housing element. They did a presentation about two months ago, I believe. Um, and they are very active with the housing element. And um, there's going to be opening to public comment, I believe, in October for the housing element. So they really want to look at the housing element and see what, make comments to it. And so they're hosting this meeting on Tuesday, October 18th at 5.30 p.m. Um, so I'll try to see how I can share this. And if not, I'll definitely add it to the October North Richmond newsletter, the North Richmond Packet newsletter. Great, thank you. Uh, Cooperative, Corporation uh, Richmond. Hey, Princess here to give a quick update. Um, Next month, I'll probably be coming back with a larger update, um, but this month, something quick and short, we just had our last co-op cafe um, series in our in office. Um, um, thank you all to who showed up to that. Um, and then we also have our intake form open still. So if you do know of anybody interested of trying to uh, start a cooperative business in Richmond, um, please send them our way. Our information is in the newsletter. Um, yeah, and I'll be back next month with a larger update. Thanks. Thanks, Princess. Um, any questions for Princess? Thank you. Uh, is anybody from Urban Till? Yeah, I'm here for Urban Till. So, you know, I just started at Urban Till. Um, I think on the 8th, it'll be a month. Um, so one of the things that we're doing, um, we're going to be forming an advisory, um, a community advisory committee. As you know, the, there's, uh, we're going to be going into construction. There will be different phases of construction. And so we want the community input um, on different aspects. So one of them is one thing that we're going to be doing is a history walk. And they're going to be um, art pieces. And so we want the community's input on uh, the types of art pieces and the, um, the artists we should hire. So um, I'll put a link in there. And if you're interested in applying to be on the committee, um, fill out the form and then there'll be, there'll be several people looking over the entries and then we'll get back with, get back with you. Um, then also tomorrow um, uh, we're having an event on the farm. So you, as you know, um, Doria was appointed by the governor as, a, as a, appointed to the um, um, California Department of Food and Agriculture, the board there. And so they are coming to the farm tomorrow and you have an opportunity, when you hear farm bill, you probably think it's just for farmers, but actually it has to do with SNAP and WIC and school lunches and uh, Meals on Wheels and, and uh, urban farmers. So. Um, we want you to come and be a part of that so you can let us know what, uh, let the board know what you think should be a part of the farm bill. Um, that starts at nine o'clock tomorrow at the farm. Um, we want you to come a little early so you can enjoy a light breakfast and um, do a meet and greet. And um, also just as a heads up, um, the EPA is gonna come and do a tour of our farm on the 16th of September. So, um, yeah, so those are the updates for us so far. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, this brings us to the end of our meeting and- um, Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I, um, Chair Gilmore, this is, 
Jessica okay. from the um, the North Richmond Mobile Tool Library. Could I do just a brief? Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to um, uh, make a little announcement because um, there's going to be an event um, on Coastal Cleanup Day, which is um, Saturday, September 24th. Um, and Tanya put this information in the um, MAC newsletter, but um, I just wanted to verbally share with you guys that um, the mobile, so the North Richmond Mobile Tool Library, which is us and the Watershed Project and a few other groups are going to be um, doing some cleanup events on Saturday, the 24th. Um, the Watershed Project led by Paula, they're gonna be doing a, um, a cleanup uh, in Wildcat Creek. And then they're gonna be doing a um, educational workshop. Tanya has sent out the, the information about that workshop in the chat. Um, it's called a visioning work, workshop and it's basically just um, a workshop about the improvements that are going to be um, being made to the fish ladder which exists in Wildcat Creek to improve the fish habitat. So um, we at the Mobile Tool Library, we're gonna be doing a cleanup of one of the vacant Los Deltas properties at the end of 6th Street. And, um, and that's actually gonna be really close to where the Watershed Project is doing their cleanup. So if anyone would like, um, uh, if you'd like me to email you a copy of the flyer, I'm happy to. Um, it's about, it's going to be, the event's going to be from about 9 a.m. to 12. And after all the various cleanups are done, uh, we'll be providing lunch. So, um, yeah, if anyone wants any more information or if you'd like me to email you the flyer that was created or if you have any questions for me, please let me know. Okay. Thanks, Chair Gilmore. Thank you. Annie. Yes. I do have an announcement. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to be on time earlier uh, before the, you know, as the meeting started. But as you, uh, some of you know, and some don't know that I am the uh, director for um, District 2 for the wastewater. District 2. And what I would like to do um, for here, I'll just to give you all some updates on what's going on uh, with our wastewater. Uh, at this time. One of the things that's very important that we're looking at is for all communities to start considering is to stop flushing the uh, wipes down the toilet. And as you know, if some of you are familiar that the wipes do not break down and they clogs up the sewer line. So uh, I will be doing more informational to you. That's one of the things that we all can stop doing because it becomes a hazard to all, a health hazard. All you need is your sewer lines to back up and there is a lot of bacteria and a, and a lot of decay that will help, that will hurt the community and your home. So I just wanted to let you know, um, hear out that at these means I will be reporting out hopefully at the beginning. And if I have something very, very um, lengthy that I need to report out to you all, I would do so. Okay, so I just want to give you all that little tidbit. And thank you for listening. I'm done. Cynthia. Oh, okay, I want to ask Tanya, when is the deadline for the applicants just uh, filing for the vacant seat on the Mac? Yeah, so we had the North Richmond Mac set a goal for the end of um, August to, to accept applications and do outreach. So we do have three applications. And right now, the North Richmond Mac is, is ranking them uh, based on their number one, number two, and number three. Um, and so far, we've had some North Richmond Mac um, submit their vote, and we're still waiting for some members to submit their vote. And once they get submitted, then that will go to Supervisor Joya. Um, and then he will make the final recommendation. Okay, thank you. And my other question was, 
Now, is a Hannah from the Housing Authority done? No, she's not, and she um, she's still here. Okay, yeah. I thought that might have been a new employee from housing. Okay. No, she's she's our fellow, and she's working um, with a number of community-based groups that are here, and uh, we're working with the housing authority. So she's a a fellow in that whole Los Delta uh, activity, doing a lot of research for us. And I don't know, Hannah, she, if you wanted to say some a, some something, you certainly housing, can. Right? Yes. Yes. Um, hi, everybody. I'm I'm Hannah. Uh, I give. Mean, Oh. The reason, reason why I asked because Tony isn't here and I was wondering, did she have anything to report? Yeah. Well, she's not officially reporting for them per se because we haven't discussed that, but she is here and happy to have her talk about yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tony was unable to make it. So um, I can report what he was going to say um, because he told me, but. Um, just to introduce myself again, I'm Hannah. Um, I'm a fellow. I'm going to be doing, you know, helping with research and just the whole Las Deltas um, uh, process over the next two years. Um, it's through a program called Partnership for the Bay's Future. Um, so that's where I technically work. Um, but I am working with the Housing Authority, um, helping them produce their request for proposals uh, for developers to buy and fix up. Uh, a portion of the duplexes that are scattered throughout North Richmond um, and then make them available for home ownership. Um, I don't have too much of an update besides just that we're still working on it, um, but I also have been communicating one-on-one -on -one, uh, directly with the former residents of Las Deltas um, to see if they're interested in home ownership and get them prepared to purchase um, and through all those next steps. Thanks, Hannah. Yep. All right, any any other uh, announcements or comments, questions? If not, I'm not gonna prolong you. Thank everybody for coming. We will see you next month. Take care. Thank you, everyone. Adjourn, yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs>